Federal government should explain why your non government activities cease. Biafra Nation Lego. Hello, viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Now, according to the news of today, Biafra Nation Lego BNL have asked the Nigerian federal government to explain for the Southeast and South South people why our non government activities cease close to the arrest of Namde Khan, leader of IPO, by addressing newsmen in Econ, Cross River State, the deputy national leader of BNL and head of operations, BBS Media. Ebuta Tokum said the Nigerian government sponsored most of the government operation in order to have evidence to convince some countries that does not respect international law to believe that the IPOB leader was truly really sponsoring terrorism. BNL said there was no need for the government to jubilate, adding that Nigeria is already sitting on a time bomb and may soon explode. BNL said the government was chasing flies instead of wolves, adding that there are three top terrorist leaders currently operating in Nigeria territory, which are Boko Haram and Eswab and flying terrorists. But the government have refused to track them down. They track people, they set people up, then went abroad to track Kano with the help of another African terrorist government. But why can't they track Boko Haram and Eswab commanders and flying terrorists? We that are visible. Are their problem, their friends are not terrorists. They know us and how to get us because we are not hiding. If we are not fighting a just cause, we would have been faceless like Boko Haram and the swap leaders. But because we have a genuine cause, we are visible and we are not afraid. BNL said that the federal government are inviting trouble that they may not handle, insisting that some more problems would soon befall. The Nigerian nation. Now that I've come to the end of this news, what he was talking about is quite right. All this unknown government you have seen today is being sponsored by Nigerian government <laughs> with the help of Dave Omahi and the Hopos. I have said this right from the time. Not only two of them, there is also some ex governors who are contributing in this. Some of us may not understand. But the truth must be told all the time. Everything they did, the sponsoring of unknown government, is just to make sure that they convince some African countries, and if possible, some world powers that Mazenam the Kano was sponsoring terrorism. Whereas it was not the truth. Everybody knows that Mazenam the Kano is a gentleman. And the group he created are gentlemen. Many of them are doctors, respectable doctors, engineers, lawyers, and everything you want you will see there. But they are not terrorists. The truth must be told. British government is also aware of this. They are only playing games to make sure that they continue to keep your oil down. I was expecting that as they have gotten oil in the north, they should be talking about how to give Rabia France a referendum in a ballon bus, but they have continued to detain us in Namdekan. This is because they are selfish. Of course, they want to tell us that the oil that they claim they have found in their land was straight from Niger Delta. They should tell us, let us know. <laughs> because nothing is impossible as far as Flan is concerned. They can do anything. British government can tell them to do anything. Do you know how much they spend to find that oil in the north? That they claim they have found, which of course I'm even finding so difficult. But now that they claim they have found oil, why are they still keeping the gentleman and why are they still keeping Biafran from leaving? This is the problem that I have with these people. They continue to lie from the other side of their mouth. They murder innocent people and they expect that people will not come after them. Look, let me tell you something. These people went all the way to Kenya to kidnap us and the car because Kenya government collaborated with them. This is the truth. They may continue to lie, but the question I've said, I've always asked is this. How come they have not seen two Nigerian government in international criminal court? Or any court of the world? Of, of the, the world? At least to make a point that they did not have hand in the plan and kidnap of and they come from their country. But they can't do that because they did it. It doesn't matter what they say in the, in, in say the to protect themselves or to, to, to make people believe them. The truth is that if they 
we are not part of it. How come they have not sued Nigerian government? People came to your country, kidnapped a man, left with the man, after torture, torturing him. And you have continued to lie from the other side of your mouth, claiming that you were not away. But upon that, you have refused to sue the people that came to your country to kidnap a man. Everything was planned. What BNS said was the right thing, was the truth. This man planned everything. Threatening of a non government, they did just to see if they can get evidence to name us Nanabok Kalu. But they did not succeed. They are surprised that every court of law has discharged him and acquitted him for all the whole atrocities this government has committed. We will visit them in time to come. They don't have anything to offer apart from frustrating people, killing people you know, every day by day. They created a non government, but they wanted to prove to the world that a non government was created by the Biafrans. Whereas they are the ones that created it with the help of these useless governors who have in our land. I've said it before. And both some of us governors. This is the fact. For some of you who don't know this, I've been saying this for long. Even before uh, 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 the BNL uh, uh, said it. I have been saying this for long. But a non government created by David Omar and opposed them. And this is why you see things whenever they operate, you don't see people coming after them. You don't see anything. And after they have gone, you see them going around arresting innocent people, killing innocent people. When Gulak was killed by the same people, you know, you saw what happened. They went around killing innocent Biafra. To this time, they kidnapped so many of them. To date, we don't know where they are. And tell these people to go after flying terrorists, they will not mind you. All they continue is to run from pit of hell. Because they know that they are the ones sponsoring them. People they sponsor, they don't go after them. This is the truth. They only go after Eastern Security Network, who don't owe them any damn. They go after them because they are there to protect the land, to stop flying terrorists from coming to the land. Nigerian government are mean, selfish. But it's quite, it's quite unfortunate that our people are being the ones adding them to commit all this atrocity, which is very bad. What he said was the right thing, was the truth. What he said was the truth. And we know all this whole thing. How Nigerian government collaborated with Tidevo Mahi, Oblast the man, the other people, to kidnap Mazin and the from Kenya. After they try everything possible to prove that he was the one creating a non government, whereas he was not the one. Rather, they are the ones, Nigerian politicians. They were also the ones that killed Gulak with the help of the same non government. Time has come. They should release him. That's what you're asking for. If they want to have a peaceful election, that's just a God for second country for Nigeria. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Piafra.